Hey. Hey, everyone. Hopefully you can hear us and you can see us. Happy Sunday. Hopefully this works. Let us know if you can hear and see us. Um, before we start off, this is a completely live video right now. This is not our normal edited video that we typically do on Sunday. So if the quality of the sound or the video isn't what you're used to, that is why you don't yeah. have to check your TV or computer. <laughs> Everything is fine. Oh, everyone in the comments is saying that they can hear and see us. Perfect. Hey, everyone. Um, yeah, we had quite a week. I don't know if you heard. Cheers to that. Yeah, cheers <laughs> to that. We just poured ourselves a big glass of wine. We already had a little sneaky yeah. glass of wine. More like a goblet of wine, but... <laughs> homemade wine. Um, yeah, it. if you heard, the most severe and most powerful storm to ever hit Canada, hit Canada, where we live, in Nova Scotia, um, Hurricane Fiona, and it was really, it was scary. Like, there's just no sugarcoating it. It took a lot of preparation and... Yeah, and you know, it definitely, like, threw a wrench into our plan. So, obviously, we're getting closer and closer to winter. So, there's a lot of work that we wanted to be doing on the dome to get it more warm and comfortable for winter. Yeah. But we just had to press pause on everything last week. And we did a lot of work around the property, just getting rid of stuff that was like a lot of trees were dead or weak that we didn't realize. So, it took a long time yeah. like, to prepare for like such a powerful storm. Um, it, it took a lot. And we took the boys to the river and it's a long story, but our, the tire on our RTV blew up and then we had to fix that. And it was just like, it was just a lot. And with all that said, editing yeah. this video, it just, and Charlie had surgery last week oh, too. Yeah. He's doing well, but um, yeah. So yeah. there was just a lot going on and we just didn't feel that we were able to put our best foot forward in a video yeah. and being the perfectionist that we are, we <laughs> um, yeah decided to hang out and do a live with you all instead. Yeah. So we spent the day um, cleaning, cleaning, <laughs> like cleaning up the forest. Luckily the dome and the solar panels, like the two main things, like we're still standing, mm -hmm. which is really great. But um, I wasn't worried about it like blowing away. I was more concerned trees. that something yeah. would fall on it or Same. like either crush it or rip it open. Like if a tree fell and cut the liner, that's mm -hmm. what I've been stressed about. Not yeah. so much blowing away. Like I didn't expect to be sitting on the couch and the roof to just <laughs> literally go up and over. In saying that though, it was like, it was pretty scary. So Charlie had surgery and he was gone all day for his surgery. He will explain it more in the video, um, but he had, oh, also we should explain. So the video that we are posting today, or we should have posted today, we're going to post it on Wednesday. So you'll get this live stream, a video on Wednesday, which is like our full regular video, and then another video on Sunday. We don't know exactly what time yet on Wednesday. We'll but keep you posted. Yeah, make sure you're checking out our YouTube community page or our Instagram. Because yeah, we'll, we'll keep let, you updated there. We'll let you know. Um, but yeah, so Charlie had a surgery earlier in the day, and then we spent the entire day like trying to prepare for the storm. And a lot of you were messaging on Instagram saying like, hey, I don't think that you should stay in the dome. Like, I know that it's your home. And like, all of that kind of stuff. And we were like, well, like we've, we had a lot of pride, obviously. Like we wanted to, um, we wanted to stay here, but that, that was not a good decision. Yeah. We, sh we shouldn't have done that. Um, so we ended up leaving and yeah, we went to Todd's parents' house, which luckily they're not too far away. So mm -hmm. it was yeah. kind of, kind of nice. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, that's how we weathered the storm. It was definitely interesting. Um, I don't know. It's just so I was saying to Tyler, it's just very weird that like three years ago this time we were setting out on the road trip. And then now we're three years later, rather than this endless vacation or travel bug that we had, we're now like cleaning up debris at <laughs> our house from a hurricane. It's just like, yeah, it's kind of interesting how you can't really ever plan the future or. Yeah, I didn't, know. I didn't picture that we would en be ended up here. I be, never be thought I'd up here. Yeah. Never thought I would own a chainsaw in my life. He taught us like the master at the chainsaw now. Oh, I wouldn't say master. I make a lot of mistakes. You just don't see them. <laughs> no, you you're come on. Give yourself I'm getting credit. better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking on the chainsaw, though, like we so we spent all day today cleaning. I don't even 
know how many more like it's you would not believe the amount of trees that we lost well and it's like as you go into the forest we're noticing more and more of our old growth trees have fallen down yeah so there's definitely no shortage of exercise around here but it's something that we're not in a rush to we're going to clean up the yard part and then we'll deal with everything in the forest as we get time i don't know if you saw but we added a story on instagram earlier and we found a tree that it's like it's in the yard kind of like back from the solar panels and it fell over todd's sitting on top of it having his coffee in the morning and it's mad i can't even put my arms around it it like its root system like the it didn't crack the the wind was so powerful that it literally took the tree uprooted it and like threw it on its side and the root system is the size of a car it is insane in hindsight though i think we should blame mel for that because he was digging around there this spring, so maybe he did something. If you're watching now, <laughs> we're on to you. we're on to your games. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, thanks for understanding. We yeah. just didn't want to like not post and have all of you worried. And um, yeah. Oh, also, we went for a walk this morning. Um, are we still gonna go kayaking tomorrow? If we can, yeah. yeah. So because we got like so much torrential rain, the river. You're not even going to believe it. Like, well, it's there's been, literal trees floating in the river. Yeah. It's, inc- it's crazy. It's been, uh, like, this summer has been so dry here. And apparently that's why there's so much, like, runoff in the river. Is because yeah. the ground is so hard and dry that it didn't, like, absorb all of it. But, like, it was not a river anymore. Like, this time last week, it was more of a babbling brook, if you could even call it that. <laughs> babbling brook. Is that the right? Yeah. Bubbling brook? Ba- I think, no, babbling. babbling. Babbling, I think, is the right. Yeah, look at me. I got an expression right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, that's what's been that's what's been going on here. Um, we have a lot of... Um, we've been keeping a really big secret from you all, so that's added um, some complexity into it. Um, everyone that's a part of the Patreon community, they obviously already know and have known for weeks. But... The house is here already, um, and I can't even, like, put into words how, like, stressful that was, because, like, yeah, yeah. something didn't go right. I mean, two years of planning, and we still had a huge F up, but yeah, we're working through it, and it's literally, like, the biggest, it's it's (laughs) the biggest mistake we've ever made. It is, we're... We're out the other side of it now. But that's why we had to take that two weeks off Yeah, a couple, last week or two weeks ago. We just, we didn't have it in us. We like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really bad. Yeah. But it's fig- it's like figured out now or like we have a plan to like go forward. But so the house, like the, um, oh, almost, almost spilt the beans. <laughs> The pieces of the house have all been assembled and are fused together now. And it is just. It's so beyond anything that like we ever um, could have imagined it being, but it was very stressful because we were like, what if it like blows over? Well, it was also like had done so much work on what we thought were trees that posed a danger to the house around it. And then once it's there now, and then this massive storm is coming, that completely opened our eyes to how terrible of a job we did at that. So yeah. that was a day in and of itself, just dealing with the trees around the house. It is pretty cool, though. Like, we, we've we been going through, like, highs and lows, like, throughout this um, last week of being, like, um, we literally are in way over our heads. We don't know what we're doing. To being, like, super confident. Like, I think that this whole, like, building a homestead like we live in the middle of the woods like obviously there's been so many things that we've been way out of our comfort zone and element on but it's it's just it's really exciting like I'm feeling um I don't know I'm feeling more confident I'm on a high right now (laughs) come back in two days and I'll be back down in the gutter but I'm feeling good right now (laughs) the emotional roller coaster is at the peak today yeah (laughs) but yeah it's just been it's been exciting um, definitely the most stressed I've ever been in my life, but at the same time, it's also the most excited and I guess motivated yeah. I've ever been Yeah, oh. or determined, not motivated. I mean, I could still sit on the couch forever with a bag of chips. Oh, a bunch of you were suggesting, um, during the storm to watch this show called Dahmer. It's, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know I, about that one. It, 
like Todd and I don't mind like a scary show or like even like some dark stuff. That show on Netflix, it is it's, it's creepy. It's way um I don't where did we get why did we get on that? You said people told us to watch it in the store and we watched it. Oh yeah. I don't know where I was going with that story. Um you're you're a bit of a space cadet today, love. It's, it's glass number two of the homebrew. I know. Homebrew always turns out a little bit stronger. Yeah. It packs a punch. Um, oh, yeah. Everyone's saying, no, no. Sick movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. we're. I think we're on episode two or three now. Like, yeah. we've watched two or three. I can't remember. We fell asleep during one, like, passed out. We woke up. Um, what was it? 5.30 yeah. in the morning. We woke up and we're like, wow, every single light is on in here. <laughs> Having electricity. No wonder the battery though. was dead this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Having electricity, though, is like a, it's a big game changer. Aloha from Maui. Oh, oh wow. wow. Aloha. Yeah. Love that. Aloha. <laughs> so jealous. Have an acai bowl for us. Um, what else is new? Mm, I mean, we've been really busy with the house. And like, we, yeah. the reason we didn't want to, like, share it right away on youtube as if we we found if we share like a big like it's i mean it's what we've been planning for two years like if you've been watching the vlog for a while okay. always you know how um how the, like living in the reason we built the dome was so that we could have like a really comfortable space to live in for the years that it's going to take to build like the dream you know um and that dream like has finally happened, but we didn't want to share that until we were like fully finished with the dome. So there was also yeah. something, um, I, I forget what it's called. I was doing research. Someone mentioned it to me, but letdown syndrome or something or the letdown effect. And it was something that I, I felt that I struggled with was after the house was here. There's, um, when you're waiting for something big and it happens, then afterward, you don't have that excitement to look forward to in your life. And it causes people to like, I never heard of that. Get but that sad. makes sense. Yeah. So it was, I found that kind of like, hmm. even though we have so much more to do, like the hurdle has been getting it here. Yeah. Now that it's here, it's time to start preparing for the inside, the mechanical and all that stuff. All but, we do is sit inside of it. You guys, it's really bad. Oh yeah. It's, we literally wake up, we go make our coffee and we go sit in it and we're just like, wow, we, we did this. Well, we've like, yeah, there's been, it's been good. Yeah. It's also just so different and I'm really excited. So our You're background- You're not ready. You're going to yeah. flip. Our background is interior. So we've got helping us with the exterior we've never done an exterior yeah. construction and it's not really something that i wanted to try to learn because it is so in getting it weather more, tight more so like the welding like the welding and fabrication and like the plates and stuff mm -hmm. what oh i mean yeah. hmm. i guess that <laughs> yeah anyway, it's been a lot but um yeah i'm just really anywhere. excited for this next chapter and I'm also excited because it's fall, which is our favorite mm -hmm. season. The fall leaves the are best. starting to change here. And it's just the days are warm enough that you can be out doing work without being in a full sweat. But then the nights are cool enough that like you want to snuggle under the blankets. It's perfect. Yeah. Well, you know, it's cold because Lily has been sleeping on the bed with us. Now. Hey, Jen. Oh, is Jen here? Yeah. Hey, Jen. Did you get your internet back? I'm Cle assuming. Clearly. Well, she could be on her phone. Oh, could be on cell signal. Yeah, that's true. Um, this guy doesn't let me use my cell, cell data. Like, uh, it's expensive if you go over. Yeah, it's expensive. Well, I'm not that. It's not like I run that tight of a ship. But like we, when we were traveling, we got a data overage bill, and it was like it was, it was crazy. It was yeah. like 700 bucks or something nuts. Yeah, we learned. Um, it. <laughs> we learned it's it. not the same as Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, too, one it's kind of like something that we just decided today. Last night when I was like, I was up until like one trying to edit, trying to get today's video ready. And I just like r realized like, it's not possible. Like, you know, when you have like an assignment that's like due at a certain time and you realize like, it's, it's impossible. If you did everything, you're never going to get it done. I'll well, just drop out of college now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I had that moment. So then I was like, I don't know if this is working. And I like had like a breakdown, was like really upset, but what Todd and I realized is the amount of time of like, we're learning how to build all of these projects 
Oh, thank you. That is completely unnecessary for the super chat, by the way. Camila, oh, you do you. not have to do that at all. You can just hang out with us and everyone yeah. can just enjoy the video. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I don't know, like I have been putting a lot of pressure on myself and it's a lot of time and energy to edit the videos and also to like learn how to build everything that we're building and the new skills. That's kind of where, it, what it is. It's like, what we're doing so we didn't realize we've done some renovations before and when you're renovating a house it's much different because the light switch is here so that's where the light switch is you just paint around it but now we're literally choosing where every single piece of the yeah. house goes and i don't there's think there's so that much to it i, I yeah wasn't, i wasn't ready for it and i think that we really really well, i mean we built this that was a lot of like, this was a box house. of tubes and a big piece of plastic that goes over top of it that sucker over there is a hell of a lot more work than this <laughs> yeah you're right <laughs> like this is putting a tent together <laughs> let me live my <laughs> let me live my fantasy anyway um we're on a bit of a tangent here but w like where i was going with that is we really in order to like build this dream and and kind of do what we're doing we absolutely we need to have help like so many other friends of ours that are YouTubers, they rely on somebody that is able to help them edit their videos. And we need to make that step. So tomorrow we're going to be putting up a post. Maybe we'll do it on YouTube and Instagram or Facebook and reach out to all of you. And if you're an editor or if you know somebody that is an editor, let them know. Um, I we're think looking it, for an editor. It's yeah, <laughs> I think it. like I can't. I can't do it. Like, I can't do it anymore. Like, we've been doing it for, like... Three years. Yeah. Almost every single week. I think we've... It's It's been a lot. Yeah, it's like, been a lot. And, it, like, a, we don't talk about it much, but, like, it takes me typically, like, 25 hours to edit our videos. And, like, that's 25 hours that I can be helping Todd and, like, learning more skills, like, doing our siding, doing all of the, like... Things. And on the flip of that, I'm getting tired because when Tyler's now spending all this time on the yeah. editing... I'm working on projects on the land to keep it moving forward, but the projects are getting bigger and more complex yeah. and it would definitely be nice to have two people to do them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that it's just, yeah, yeah, we've gotten far. I don't think it's anything that we should hang our heads over. No, but like, of course. We've and gotten I'm, this far on the project that we're at a point we need some help. Yeah. And truthfully, that is thanks to every single one of, every you, one of you watching this in your living room, in your bedroom, wherever you're watching this from, by you all watching our channel and supporting like what we're all doing, it's enabling us. Like our channel has grown so much in the last year and it's enabled us to like be able to put more energy and time into this community and what we're creating mm -hmm. and like there's so yeah. much more we want to do like we we we've been yeah. talking about this for almost two years we actually have the equipment to do the podcast we yeah. just don't have the time to sit down and pull the equipment out and do it yeah so there's all these different things and we we do a second video a week for our patreon community oh yeah i don't and know if you know this but every wednesday we so every sunday we post a video on youtube every wednesday we post a video a bonus video on patreon and there's so that's that a lot to edit too like on top of yeah and we want to do more with them and like yeah. i've been trying to edit those videos and but if anyone so, watches them no you they're not say, the same as tyler's it's not tell, no no beautiful music and drone footage <laughs> it's not the same but like it's i you, you have to stop saying that like you, todd is so selling himself short like it's it's different it's such an intimate look into like the nitty gritty daily like it's, it's like yeah it's more basically i and i don't use a fancy camera i just take my i love i love them and i put it on record and it's basically like as if i was on facetime with a friend a friend yeah, yeah, yeah so i really like them um anyway we're rambling yeah everyone oh thank, thank thank you so much truthfully like the super chats like yeah you, i i feel if you want to support rather than doing super chats on here sign up for a month or two whatever your budget is on patreon because yeah. i feel like you actually get something back from that i don't i feel bad with super chats because like yeah i feel really bad like yeah. they're completely unnecessary like don't thank feel, you again yeah, thank but you. don't don't feel i mean if you want to tip us sure but like <laughs> <laughs> at the same time like i i feel bad taking money when we are, we're not rendering a service so yeah rendering a service <laughs> it's very fancy um, 
Yeah, what else is is there anything else new and exciting? Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was Charlie beside you the whole time. That's just a pillow. <laughs> Where are they? Hey boys, do you want to come say hi? No, Charlie's I'm asleep. Charlie doesn't have um you want to come here, buddy? Hey. Look. No, he's no, I feel bad. Yeah. He um he's really, really sore. He had um so if you've been watching the vlog for a while, you know that Charlie, like we almost lost him last year. It was like and the year before that. Yeah. It seems like a... <laughs> um yeah, it seems like every year it's something with him. And we he had a really big tumor on him and um like really big. It was in his armpit and it was really small at first. And it just ballooned into this. In two months, it went from this big when we first spotted it. To big enough to fit inside of my palm like a softball. Yeah. So. And, like, it's difficult to, like, talk about. Because, like, I find, um, like, I just don't really like talking. We're it. aware that, um, yeah, there yeah. are children. And it's, I guess it's, I don't know. We know that our time with them is... Yeah, it's short, but um, I just like hate yeah. like when I don't know like I'm to I'm totally fine right now. What's like going on, Debbie? I, <laughs> like when I talk about it, like I can't help but like get emotional and like my voice gets like really shaky. It's so weird. Like yeah. I like I can't help but like cry, and I hate crying on camera. It's so annoying. Oh well, it's you're like doing... obnoxious. <laughs> oh, but you're doing great at it. Though. I know. Anyway, so <laughs> we'll give you more of like an update of like all of that. He's just been such a trooper. Yeah. He's such such a good boy. Well, I love all of them. They're they all have such unique personalities now. And I think that's my favorite thing about them. Maybe if we ever have a little baby, it'll have a unique personality too. Oh my gosh. Um, this is another thing. So <laughs> ever since the house um got here, there's something there's something going on. Like oh, we don't clearly we don't have ovaries. I'm ovulating enough <laughs> to open up a truck stop diner. Like it is so weird. I don't know like wh why or like how this has like come to be, but like Todd and I now, like we're like, oh, like maybe we do want a family. Like maybe we do want to have kids. Like we've been together for like 14 years. So like I thought that like we were pretty, pretty sure that we like didn't, but um yeah it's super weird yeah anyway one thing at a time like yeah let's <laughs> Nest nesting is happening that's what that's what people are saying yeah. nesting that's a really real thing i didn't I, think it would be I, it did happen once yeah. before though when we settled into a house that we really liked before um but that was our old life <laughs> yeah. when we, we were on the adoption list and everything yeah and yeah it was a two-year wait and then yeah, but then we were like, it's never going to happen. Yeah, we were like, screw this. I like my time and my money. I think the cool thing, though, is like you really never you really never know where you're going to end up. Um, yeah, I never would have ever pictured this life. And um, I think that's yeah. what what I think, like when I look back, like about how like the hurricane and like three years ago, we were actually in Whistler at this time. Like, it's so shocking because... I, oh yeah, and your parents came. Yeah, my parents. Oh, or no, yeah. we weren't. We were in Kelowna because my parents came for Thanksgiving. For a Canadian week. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your birthday. Yeah, but I find that like, I don't know. I lost it. <laughs> oh, I feel as though I'm happier now that I don't really plan or know what the future is going to bring. Yeah, because if we, We're I've learned anything over these three years. It's that like, when it hits the fan, it splatters everywhere. So oh, like, yeah. why? Why try and plan it out? Just yeah. deal with it afterward. Yeah. And just like, whereas before we were always chasing what was supposed to be the next thing or we're going yeah. more with the flow. We're getting, we're getting older. Yeah. More wise. I can tell because I'm getting so many wrinkles in my hair is turning gray. Um, well, that happens. Yeah. It makes you look more sophisticated. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to get some Botox. I don't, I don't think that would hurt too much. Pump my face looks like this. Get them to chisel the jaw in a little bit and pull the nose down. Oh my, you would look nuts. <laughs> no, no. I think I think natural is better. Yeah, shows it shows your um. What is that? Um, what do people say? Like Patrick Dempsey, his hair. Oh wow, yeah. Wow, Patrick Dempsey looks. 
great. Um, about like how when you when you keep everything like the way that it was, that like your your mind show like your memories or something. Yeah, it's, there's a more sophisticated way. I'm also not opposed to melting when they cremate. Shows you. the life you lived. Yes, Amy. Mm -hmm. Yes, character shows your maturity. Yeah. How's everyone doing? I think the thing that hurts the most, though, is like about uh, getting old. Like, I'm getting called sir <laughs> at stores a lot. And we don't get ideas by anymore. like, yeah, and it's by like the cashier at the grocery store who's in high school, and they're like, "Is that everything for you today, sir?" And it's like, really? We are a sir now. I don't know, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I go by daddy, not sir. <laughs> Is that everything for you today, daddy? <laughs> we wouldn't go back to that grocery store again. <laughs> We'd get asked not to come back. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Well, um, I don't really know what else we have to say. I think that's everything. Yeah. Do you have anything else to add? No, not really. We yeah. covered it all. We're still alive. Nothing major. It was damaged in the hurricane. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. We're queer. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> All right. Well, um, instead of making this live way too long like we normally do, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Um, we are going to be going live at 6 p.m., so in 30 minutes over on Patreon once once the line kicks in <laughs> a little more. <laughs> we I so know, I'm starting to feel it already. If if you've watched the channel for a while, you know like we've we've get, gotten into the lives on YouTube. We did a 3 hour live one time. No, and that was on Instagram. We did um a four and a half hour live because Instagram cut us off. Oh yeah, they we, said you can't come they, back. At an hour they cut yeah. your lives off and we just kept coming. We said you can't get rid of us four and a half hours. We like fully made a meal. Like <laughs> it was wild. Well, anyway, we put the link in the description box of this video if you want to join us for a live over there in about 30 minutes. But other than that, we will see you on Wednesday. Wednesday. It sounds so weird saying that. Know. See you Wednesday. Also, we may, we're, we haven't officially 100% figured it out, but we may do some Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, because we've got a lot of content to get through the next little bit. Fiona brought some work for us. So. If, <laughs> if you're up for that, if it's something that you'd be interested in and watching, we'll keep you posted though. And. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, have a lovely week. See you Sunday. Yeah. Can't say I that. Anyway, see you yeah. Wednesday. It sounds so weird. I can't get over it. It mm -hmm. just doesn't flow off the tongue as well. See you Sunday. See you Wednesday. Like, we meet again Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we will meet again Wednesday. Have Bye, a lovely everyone. couple days. And see we'll you see soon. You, see you soon.